Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. In fact, the penultimate episode of the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. In this episode we are playing as Sagat. He is the final boss of the original game. So there you go, we're going to be playing as him. Uh, by and large, he is the most broken fucking character in this game. Uh, he has high and low tiger shot with quarter circle forward a uh, punch and kick. He has... On most of his moves, he has incredible range. And he even has the tiger knee with quarter circle back and kick. He does not have tiger uppercut in this game, probably because he didn't feel the need to learn it. Because he... Pres presumably... He presumably was not satisfied. Was He, he probably learned it after Ryu Shoryuken him. But anyway, um... So I got not very hefty in the combo department, but holy fuck, he does damage. Like he's one, like basically he's agile and a powerhouse. Like Sagat is not at all balanced for this fucking game because he can make characters in the fucking mincemeat. And then there's the supers. You got to let them learn before you beat me, but I can kill. <laughs> There's a supers. He has a tiger cannon, which, by the way, his taunt is the fastest in the game. So you can get a full bar in like a couple seconds. It's fucking insanity. But anyway, he has a tiger cannon with a, a gosh dang double four quarter circle forwarding punch, and then quarter circle double fucking goddamn it, stupid crap. Um, double quarter circle back and kick. Um, results in him doing this little rambo, And it's kind of like Tiger Genocide, but not really. Or Tiger Destruction, if you don't like the word genocide. I'm gonna bring that up during, uh, uh Capcom vs. SNK everything. Because that's the game series that made it, that made the word genocide not cool anymore. Well, actually, it was 9-11 that made that not cool. Although I think people have found a way around it. Like... Oh yeah, did... Oh yeah, the Dark Ace told me that, yeah. Man, beast, or god, my punch smashes all into nothingness. Damn, Sagat. Sagat is a goddamn monster. He's such a monster. He, he, he's also an asshole. <laughs> Uh, basically, at this point, like, you can see it in his face, like, at this point in the game, like, he didn't know Ryu, and he believed himself to be, like, the best fighter in the world, I think. And then Ryu showed up, and then he got hit with the Dark Hado, and then gave, uh, Sagat seven herbs and spices of fuck you, and then Sagat was like, well, now my entire life journey is to beat Ryu. And does he do it in Street Fighter V? My bet is no, because Ryu is so goddamn strong. But, I mean, honestly, Sagat, uh, when he's not involved with Shadaloo, he's such a good character. Like, and that's why nobody really, like, basically the only games you remember Sagat for, it, like... You got a lot to learn before you beat me. Oh shit. Are you? Please do not give me the scar. He's not gonna give me the scar. Trust me. It's not gonna work the other way around. I am too strong to allow this peddly kid to give me some bullshit scar. Actually, those look like the evil Ryu colors. Huh, would you look at that? Which, I don't think there is a thing for Evil Ryu in Street Fighter V, at least. At least I don't believe so, unless it's like the ultimate final time. Because in Street Fighter Three, Ryu appears to have completely conquered it. Well, even in Street Fighter, I mean, I guess barely in Street Fighter Two, he was able to contain it, and then Akuma showed up, and then he was like, you know what, Ryu, go fuck yourself. And he was like, God damn it. And then in Street Fighter Four, it got too anime. 
I don't know, but pretty much the only games you really remember Sadat for are Street Fighters 2 and 4, because in Street Fighter 2, Sagat wasn't really villainous. He was more or less just this asshole wanting a fight. Oh, and he spams a whole lot of these. He spams a whole lot of those. Tiger! 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 Which, in the original, the fucking song is so obnoxious that you can't even hear Sagat say Tiger. At least in this game, they upped up the, the sound effects and volume, at least to a certain degree, so you can actually hear the characters say what they're trying to say. Tiger! 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 But yeah, basically in Street Fighter 2, you just heard Sagat say Tiger the entire goddamn match. Unless you were up close to him, and then you just heard Tiger Uppercut Tiger! Sagat in Street Fighter 2 is not fun <laughs> to fight anyway. To play as Sagat is a goddamn majesty in the games. Like, I'm definitely gonna do a Sagat Legacy when I fucking, uh, when he's announced for, when his release date for Street Fighter 5 is announced, because goddamn is Sagat one of my favorite characters, and I'm so glad he's coming back. Now, I, although I have made a video with Street Fighter 5 in it before, I don't actually own the game. Two of my friends do, though, so... So, that's how I've been playing the game, and I have been playing Street Fighter V more and more, thanks to them, and personally not having spent money on it, I think it's okay. It's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, I'd rather just play Street Fighter IV or, or, he or Heavens Above fucking Street Fighter III, which are the games they're sandwiched in between. Because, honestly, what they should have done is just delayed the game and then basically had given us AE without it being AE. And then they could have released two seasons worth of DLC or even just one season of DLC and then made AE. That's what they could have done. But instead, Capcom was like, That was FGC! We don't, and then we don't want to put in classic characters that are too similar to each other. Fuck that mentality. That's why they put in Akuma back in the Street Fighter V. That's why they put uh, Sakura back. That's why they put Sagat back. That's why they fucking put Ken back into the game. They were reluctant to even put Ken back into the game. Because he was apparently too similar to Ryu. And it's like, yeah. Except you develop these characters to be more than just copies. You know, kind of like SNK. SNK grew their characters as well. I mean, one of, one of my favorite examples of how a character can completely 180 himself is Robert Garcia. You know, for a little while, he was the same character as Ryo, basically, with a couple uh, different specials involving kicks. Then King of Fighters 99 happened, and that game changed so much about King of Fighters, and nobody gives it credit. Like, the only game people really play out of the Nest Saga, I think, is either KOF 2000 or 2001. Maybe. E even if that. You know... You know, the most played out of that uh, whole series, 99 through 2003, is fucking, uh, is 2002. Which, the amount of people playing King of Fighters 2002 on Fight King is fucking staggering. There's like 200 people on those servers playing King of Fighters 2002. That's more than Third Strike. More people would rather play King of Fighters 2002 than, uh, that. And I think that's just because people can't afford to buy, and that's just, like a bunch of people who don't want to buy King of Fighters 2002 UM on, uh, Steam. So they just pay, play that instead. Yeah, and then King of Fighters 98 is also, it has like 100 plus people, which sometimes means even King of Fighters 98 has more people than uh, Third Strike. But that still has old Robert in it. Regardless, King of Fighters 99 was a big paradigm shift for Street Fighter, which is also what um, 
Garo, Mark of the Wolves wanted to be. That's what fucking uh, Street Fighter 3 New Gen wanted to be. So many fighting games wanted to change everything about themselves to try to be the new trendsetter, and for the most part, it blew up in their faces, except for... I mean, SNK did it a, lo a little bit better than Capcom did, I will admit, because Garo and KOF 99 were actually pretty fun games. And then Street Fighter 3 New Gen was just weird. Although Second Impact and Third Strike are both good games, I will admit that I do enjoy me some Second Impact. Because the system, although still a little bit clunky, is better. Because, you know, they introduced EX moves. Um, I think the throws were handled better. You know, the parrying was a little bit cleaner. I don't know why I do talk about other fighting games. It's because this game, I've pretty much just talked about everything. This game's development history is both the original, anyway. This Mugen. Fucking nobody knows anything about this goddamn Mugen. You know, people were just like, we want to make a new version of this game. And then it happened. That's it. There's no developer logs or no anything. I mean, I, I already brought up that people have made fan-made Street Fighter 1 versions of characters like Dan, he, and Ian, Charlie, and Marish, and all that. Fucking... That's it. I, I'm all out of I'm all out of trivia for this damn game. I'm sorry. So why not talk about other fighting games while I'm here? You know, I mean I I mean King of Fighters it does help because we've already completed KOF 94 and we're playing Killer Instinct, obviously, which you know which, by the way, go check out the Killer Instinct series. Uh, the last episode was Jago, I believe. Which I haven't filmed yet, but at this point in time, you know, you've seen it, but for current Reaper, you know, because future Reaper will probably tell you, I've already filmed that video, but, well, you'll know that that video exists, I don't currently, and I hope that video goes better than my original take, which I probably would have already done that diatribe in the Jago video, so don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, while I'm here, uh, why don't I make an interesting request to you guys? Um, I did King- I did Killer Instinct out of habit, mostly because not only was it perfect, because I had ended it when I got to Mike, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, TJ Combo is just the perfect character to go with it, so I'm gonna ride out Killer Instinct. But what game do you want me to play, um, I mean, I wanna try to stay as chronologically, uh, centered as I can with Credit Quest, so, you know, the next Street Fighter game I'm gonna play is... Probably gonna be Street Fighter Alpha, and then I may just bounce back and forth between the Street Fighter Alpha series and then the rest. So, like, I'll do, like, Street Fighter Alpha, and then I'll do, like, Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior, and then I'll do Alpha 2, and then Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and then Alpha 3, and then, uh, fucking maybe Street Fighter EX or some shit, and then go to Street Fighter 3, and then, or maybe even Ultra Street Fighter 4, you know, just... I don't know, and then for King of Fighters, you know, that has a goddamn completely obvious chronological order, because they're by years, you know, until 2003, when, or, well, after 2003, and then SNK had a big old hissy fit, well, I guess Playmore had the, had the hissy fit, and then they're like, we don't want to name these games after years, and they're like, what's the next King of Fighters? It's the 11th one. Call it KOF 11. Oh, sweet. I made it to Cody. Yeah, Sagat is so broken that you can just beat everybody up and not even know about it. Like, it, it's insane how fucking easy it is to win with Sagat. Like, you don't even know how fucking easy it is to win with this guy. It's crazy. He's, like, the easiest character in this whole game. Because he does shit loads of damage. Like, I know it's not as bad as in the original where he can kill you in two or even one hit but you know but the thing is it's really weird because um the dark ace brought it up because um an, an interesting whoa what a throw cody can't wait to use that although i will have to do a bit of practice with cody i think just because i don't know how to play cody well i kind of know how to play cody but not very well uh but anyway um i'll save that for cody how about that <laughs> Which, yeah, the next episode's gonna be Cody, and I'll show you how to unlock him 
Actually, I'll show you how to unlock him at the end of this episode, considering it's probably the shortest one so far. So I may as well just show you how to unlock him. I mean, how long has it been? 15 minutes? Not even 15 minutes. Oh, you can never defeat an emperor. Okay. Uh, hopefully he says that again. I'll probably just roll through matches and see if he ever says that again. If not, then fuck it. Or maybe I can, uh, well, or actually, you know what I can do? I can use my editing powers, because I edit every single episode. I can actually go back and put it on the screen right now. So there you go, it's on the screen. Have fun. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to unlock, or not unlock. Well, I guess technically, well, no, you don't unlock him because he's already unlocked. Just show him where to go on the roster in order to get him. Which, you know, you probably... Actually, you know what? Nobody has told me in the comments how to get Cody. So, they either don't want to ask me how to get Cody, or already know how to get Cody. Which, I don't think they know how to get Cody, so... Or probably they just don't care enough about Cody. So, whatever. I'll show it. Rest assured, I'm going to show you how to get Cody by the end of this episode. So don't worry, young children. I am going to help you. You can never defeat an emperor. Try again, kid. Okay, never mind. I didn't need my editing powers. Fuck it. That previous statement, uh, doesn't mean dick. <laughs> it doesn't mean dick. So yeah, there you go. There you go. It's not gonna be like the, um, fighting game freakout episode of Sagat, where I was like, fuck it. I'm going to give you an edition. And then I fucking did not. Uh, I think that was when when the annotations were shut. Or no, that was before the annotations got shut down. But, uh, oh wow, so the guy is so strong, he can actually kill himself easily. Like, that's how powerful he is. He's actually able to end his own life very fast. Yeah, and Sagat's a tank on top of it. On top of it all, Sagat takes damage too well. Like, basically Sagat is what Akuma wants. Sagat in this game is what Akuma wants to be. He's like, I need to learn how to take damage. I imagine that being really weird, uh, sort of set of circumstances. Maybe, maybe in Street Fighter V, Sagat doesn't do all that much damage, but maybe he's, like, really defensive. And then Akuma sees that because of Sagat's never-ending rivalry with Ryu. He's like, you shall teach me the ways of how you take all this damage. And then Sagat's like, why not? Sagat retains his champion title four times in a row. His Muay Thai style is admired as, admired as feared, but his champion... Tired of victory, Sagat wishes a worthy opponent to beat. Hmm, pathetic. Is there no one to, who can rival my power? Huh, who's there? Zing. Wow, look at Bison's sprint. <laughs> Your skill is truly impressive, Sagat, but if you want real strength, you must master cycle power. He doesn't. Who are you? I am called Bison, and I can help you find the opponents you seek to fight. I can read into your heart. I see it is empty, and it only burns when in combat with a worthy foe. Hmm. <laughs> Join me, Sagat. Become a student of Psycho Power. Only then will you be able to bring your chapter. Alright, I'll accept your offer. I'll try the Psycho Power and see how much I'll I improve. Excellent. But first, we must do something about those sprites of yours. Heh <laughs> <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> I love how Bison gives him the scar. Fuck it, Ryu didn't do it. Bison did it. <laughs> the Shoryuken shit, the hot, the Satsumi no Hado, fucking Akuma. Didn't happen. It was just Bison being an asshole. Yeah, surprisingly, Sagat never went... I mean, I guess, no, unshockingly, Sagat never went for Psycho Power. Which is... Which... Which is weird how Sagat just hung around Shadaloo and didn't refuse their offers until Street Fighter 4. Anyway, before I go, I shall show you how to get Cody. Uh, you can see that you can go several places on the character roster, but you cannot go out of the bounds. You can't. Except for Eagle. If you press right on Eagle, there's Cody. There he is. 
Uh, there's no one after this. Uh, you could... If only this Mugen was as easily editable, I'd probably be able to shove uh, Dan Hibiki and Charlie in here. And maybe some other character, maybe like Terry Bow, like Final uh, Fatal Fury 1 Terry Bogard or something. Just as another guest character, perhaps. But whatever. So for the finale of the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest, we are going to be playing as Cody Travers. I will see you all next time.